And something that is catching a lot of our attentions this weekend is the... Ah, the eclipse. The eclipse. Do yes. it with glasses if you're going to do it. Do not look up at that. Right. Sunglasses do not work. Yeah. Your regular sunglasses that you wear in the car, that's not going to work. You need solar glasses. We always say it and we assume, but there's always somebody. Uh, there always, there's always someone, Jason. Uh, and, and this is what it's going to look like. So the partial eclipse, you'll start seeing something a little different at around 1023 in the morning on Saturday. Max Maximum eclipse that we'll see in DFW specifically would be about 86%. And that happens at 1152. That's when we see the the most coverage of the sun. And basically what's happening is that the moon is in between the sun and the earth. So it's basically blocking the sun's rays from getting to earth. And the partial eclipse will end at around 129. Now around this time, if you're closer to say San Antonio, you're going to see a better coverage of the eclipse. So it'll be closer to 100%. And, and what's interesting about this one is that the moon is far away enough to where it doesn't completely cover up the sun. It would eventually cause, it would look like a ring of light around the moon. It's called the ring of fire. And that if you are in the path of totality, uh, that's what it's going to look like. We will not be in the path of totality. We're at 86%, which is still a pretty cool to see.